So this is a demonstration where the data members without default constructors uh, will require us to use initializer list. Uh, and uh, that's important because uh, example of a class like this, complex class that does a whole bunch of its own interesting operations on strings. Somehow we want to have it as a member. Uh, we want to have it as a member uh, of our class. And so we are uh, 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 doing uh, using initializer list to, to initialize it. One quick notice is that typically you should do and construct your initializer list in the same order as the data members of your class. Because this is really physically, this is the order which C++ standard tells us they will be constructed. First, this will be constructed, then this, and then this. Why? Well, because you said so, right? That's your order. If you want this for some really sa subtle, you know, uh, reasons, uh, reorganize it, then, you know, move it up. Then the parser will be constructed before anything else. Well, again, then it's a bit of a pain on the neck that you have to sort of like take this out of here and put it in front. Uh, Microsoft, does, Microsoft doesn't seem to require this, uh, but other compilers uh, do require it to keep your initializer list in the same order as member uh, data member declarations inside of your classes. And the constant members. For example, if I wanted to say, uh, let me get rid of this parser for a second because it's like, you know, uh, not, gonna, not going to let me uh, do anything. So I'll just uh, comment this uh, in line like that. Right, but yet another thing is, what if I wanted to have a uh, constant um, initial, I'll call it M, uh, initial length, right? So a constant, constant uh, int initial length. So I want to have an integer uh, which is constant, and once the string is created, I want to capture the initial. Uh, initial length of this string. Okay, I can do that. So let me actually, you know, kind of make it more manageable, perhaps go to those lines uh, and uh, just keep this comment right here. Right? So to initialize this constant uh, data member of my class, I must use initializer list. Because it needs to be initialized once. But once initialized, it will never change. And I can just say, okay, I have a pointer to string. So what is what is your length, right? Uh, right there is a uh, member function length on the string, uh, standard string object. And I just say, okay, give me the length. I will initialize my uh, initial length a member uh, variable. Uh, but it's going to be constant integer from this point on. Like once created, initial length will not be changed. In that case, you typically want to make it uppercase, right? Uh, keep those uh, things uh, uppercase. I guess kind of uppercase uh, naming convention reminds us that, hey, this is a constant. It's not a, a, your a regular uh, variable. It's a constant. All right, so, but this is the way you can do this through uh, uh, initializer list. All right, um, so uh, there are some other things I don't want to discuss. There will be much more time to do this when we call uh, talk about the object and uh, class inheritance and, and other polymorphic behaviors. So we'll uh, discuss that in detail. So list order, I already told you. And here's an example on my GCC compiler at home that I was running version 3.4.5. Uh, when I try to, um, uh, when I try to in, see how I have graph, then x, then y, this order in my point class, 
but if I decided to construct the initializer list out of order, like x, y, and then g, that's the error I was getting. Uh, it, actually, not error, but warning. Point mg will be initialized after mx when initialized here, right? So basically says, uh, yeah, you can, you may be dreaming about this, but that's not real thing. The real thing is that the initialization order is different, not the one that you are assuming here. So anyway, just uh, 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 sometimes constructor calls are very important. And why? Because constructing your world, all of the objects that you need to uh, you need to operate, is an intricate and very um, important part of the entire program. Oftentimes. The creation of objects, the pure creation of objects, is a challenge. And then once they're all created, everything just operates. The, the objects are talking to one another, everything is in place, everything is operational. So construction is a very important stage in many, many uh, situations. And therefore, there, there are those little su subtleties that, that do exist. And, and as C++, C++ programmer, we have to be aware of those things. Well, I believe that, uh, you know, Java compiler largely uh, takes care of many things for you. But remember, this is a system programming language. So it wants to, um, it gives you a lot of control. And that control comes with a certain number of responsibilities and particular little things that you need to be um, aware of. Um, this is, uh, the, uh, can be uh, initializer lists on their own could bring up their own, their own set of bugs. Uh, assume that this wasn't here original, right? So I have my point and graph class. Both classes are defined. So now I'm working on my point class. This wasn't there originally. So then I added it. I, to my point, I added a reference to the graph later. And so originally I had uh, I had uh, X and Y and now I'm adding G, and so maybe um, uh, maybe mm, I want to initialize M Y with M X. Uh, so so take a look at this initializer list. What happens here? So I'm I'm writing my code, and so um, uh, what happens is that. Uh, the 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 reference to the graph is initialized first, then mx is initialized next, and then my is also initialized. But look, by mistake, I decided to pass uh, mx as the initializer to my, hoping that it was already initialized by this uh, by this line. When in reality, when you deep uh, you know, read the, 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 the C++ standard a little deeper, um, there is no guarantee that this will be fully constructed at this point. Uh, and therefore, you, you really, if you want to initialize MY and MX with X, both with X, you should probably be using X in both places because MX may still be garbage at this point on. So anyway, uh, sometimes you really have to be careful with, your, with what you're doing. And I think simplicity is the key, all right? If you need to do something strange on the initializer list, maybe you need to create a different constructor, which will you know, essentially not take y as a parameter or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, there are some, some uh, little, uh, uh, little things that uh, still uh, can be important. All right, so moving on, um, um, we, s we say that the uh, const qualifier is very important. And uh, uh, what I um, uh, will probably cover at some point, uh, but let me demonstrate it here, is that um, maybe uh, yeah, I already used this qualifier here on this uh, get string. So get string returns a a uh, a pointer which is point uh, which is a uh, pointer to a constant character, right? So that's what this function returns, and it calls c string, 
uh, inside this basic string class. Uh, but this function is getting marked as const, constant function, which means that this function promises that it will not make any changes in the state of our string class. So it's just something to remember. And so the const uh, was used here twice. First of all, this is before the name of this, in the name of the member function, this is the type. And this is, the type is a pointer to a constant character. Okay, so, and so const can be used with, uh, with, uh, with uh, types to qualify types as being constant. So uh, this comes with certain territory, and I think as we uh, review our current homework assignment, uh, I think it will be more practical to talk about applications of these things as we move along uh, review of our uh, uh, current homework assignment. So I think uh, th it was important for me to make sure uh, that we talk about initializer lists and we may come back to some of this discussion, but I'd like to switch gears and start talking about the current project that we have. And uh, I think now it's really a good time to take a break. And uh, when we come back, we'll start working with our project. So I'm just hitting the interest.